On Saturday, September 24th, Gowling Buick GMC hosted its final car show of the season, but due to the ongoing road construction on M24, it wasn't held at the dealership. With just three weeks of planning, Gowling made arrangements to hold the car crews in the parking lot of the former Big Buck Brewery location in Auburn Hills. Approximately 350 cruisers enjoyed a beautiful fall day. DJ Rock and Ronnie spun the oldies, and live performances entertained visitors throughout the day. I'm really grateful that um, that we're able to pull this off. It's been a hard summer for us, as everybody knows, with Lapeer Road being knocked out. And it's been hard to expect people to come out to car shows with the dust and the dirt. So we were lucky to find a venue that was uh, able to cooperate with us and, and lend us their parking lot for the weekend for the big car show. And looks to me like it's a big hit. I think we're over 350 cars at last count and um, a couple of thousand people. So it's just a big day and we're, we're just grateful. And, and great weather, wow. Among the hundreds of cars at the show, one particular vehicle caught the attention of cruisers. A rare 1948 Tucker rolled into the parking lot. The car has a fascinating history. Only 47 are known to exist, and most of them can only be found in museums. This is one of the original 1948 Tuckers. They built 51 cars. There are 47 that survived. This car happens to be number 44. Uh, interesting story behind my acquisition of it. Um, it sat in uh, a gentleman's farm building in Ohio for 33, 34 years. And uh, I uh, became friends with him as I was restoring another Tucker at the time uh, and needed to get some reference points from this one. Uh, and over a three year period, I was uh, very tenacious and able to convince him that uh, uh, it would be a good idea to sell me the car. So about two and a half months ago, I purchased it and brought it home here to Auburn Hills. The Big Buck Brewery location has been vacant for 10 years. Recently, the building was purchased and the new owner is in the process of renovating it and opening The Hub, a restaurant offering food and drinks as well as bomb bowling, a new fad that combines football and bowling. They're targeting early November for a grand opening. We're going to have 16 lanes of bomb bowling, which is a game where you throw a football at bowling pins. It's like a tailgating uh, game. Uh, it's a beer drinking game, to <laughs> tell you what the truth. Uh, but the, the concept here is we're going to have two bars. We're going to have a, a food court, so to speak, uh, high quality food. And uh, it's going to be a, you know, a high energy concept with uh, quality food, two big bars, big screen TVs, uh, high quality state of the art music system. It, it's just going to be a fun, high-energy concept. Lots of tables, lots of, uh, uh, the, you know, the gaming going on, lot, lots of energy in this place. It's going to be a fun concept. Numerous charities benefited from the car show, including the VFW, the Orion Veterans Memorial, and the Kenley Marie Dabrowski Scholarship Fund. The scholarship is named in memory of 18-month-old Kenley, who lost her life in June of 2012 in a tragic accident. Kenley's parents and grandparents raised over $4,000 through donations and raffles at the car show. We've given away over $13,000 in the last four years um, for mostly um, scholarships onto college, um, but some other various um, families in need in the community. My husband and I both teach in Lake Orion. So, um, any student that has gone to Stadium Drive Elementary that is graduating can apply for the scholarship. They write an essay how they're inspiring others just like our daughter did for us. In Auburn Hills, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.